rolling hills, peaks, and summits, my hometown, Dunbar, Pennsylvania, is nestled at the base of the Dunbar Mountains, part of the Laurel Mountain chain, and now home to fishing, hunting, bike trails, and little else. Dunbar today is a quiet town, a bedroom community. There's no manufacturing here. There's no more mining. Some people call it a town of memories. But for those who can remember, oh, what a town it was. First settled in the late 1700s, for the next century it grew. And by the late 1800s, it was a boom town. It was fueled by coal and the immigrants who flocked here. Irish, like my family, English, Italians, Eastern Europeans, looking for a new life and willing to risk their own going deep beneath these mountains. They were mining that black gold, coal. It was then fired in beehive ovens. They turned the coal into coke by burning coal in these coke ovens. And then the, the coke was taken to Pittsburgh uh, to use in the uh, to making of steel. If Pittsburgh was the steel city, Dunbar in tiny Fayette County was Coke Town. Uh, there were 48,000 Coke ovens in Fayette County. Wow. Now that was in 1910, so there was more than that. Now home to about a thousand people, at the turn of the last century, it was home to nearly 20,000. This boomed at one time, but like all other towns, and especially Western Pennsylvania, you know, they've kind of died out. My mother, born Betty Cooper, has roots here that run deep. I'd heard her family settled in these hills at least three generations ago. Her parents, Charles Cooper and Lillian Landman. My grandfather's parents were Robert Cooper and Virtue Biddle, both born here in Dunbar. My grandmother, Lillian, was one of 15 children born in Dunbar to Henry Landman and Mary Ellen Zebley. With the help of Ancestry.com, my brother and I have now been able to trace Mary Ellen's family to the mid-1600s in Switzerland. It appears as if they were part of the mass migration in the 1700s, engineered by none other than William Penn himself. After being granted control of the land that now bears his name, Penn went on recruiting trips, trying to lure seasoned workers to Pennsylvania to help usher in America's Industrial Revolution. My mother's ancestors, Coopers, Landman, Zebleys, Sullivans, a mix of Dutch and Irish, who came to what William Penn called the Promised Land. They came here to dig deep into that Promised Land. And he is working, not surprisingly, I'm sure, as you'd guess, yeah. as a coal miner. Yes. Okay. I kind of expected that. I, I thought that might not be a big <laughs> yeah. surprising revelation. When Anastasia from Ancestry.com wanted to meet me in Dunbar with a mysterious revelation, I figured it had to involve mining. Were my ancestors among the huddled masses trading poverty or prejudice for hope and opportunity? Did my family support the Molly Maguires, the Irish miners who were hanged as anarchists in Pennsylvania for fighting for unions and mine safety? These were the tales I imagined. I assumed Anastasia would bring with her some forgotten secret from my mother's family. I could not have been more wrong. No, I, I am convinced that my father never knew this, that he never knew. I don't think any of them knew. It was a tale about my father's family, an immigrant's tale buried long and deep, and it could not have a happy ending. I can't believe that made me cry. It happened like a hundred years ago. <laughs> it's really upsetting.